Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here today. Let's get a message from the Holy Spirit. What do you need to know at this time? Collective general message, please. Holy Spirit. Thank you, God. Thank you for these messages. Thank you, Lord, for the provisions. Thank you for getting me out of bed today. Thank you for the throat chakra to be able to speak and channel these. Ooh! Thank you, Jesus. Do you see me speaking literal life over myself right now as I pray? Do you see that? Because I see that. I see the Ten of Pents. What do you say? I see an abundance, bro. You know why? Because I'm sitting here grateful for shit, like just waking up today. Thank you, Jesus. Or Krishna, or your higher self, or Buddha, or anybody. Look at this page of swords. You are speaking life over yourself. Guys, guys, look at this, the fool. I just did a channeled message where I was like, we're all in this fool energy, right? We're taking this leap of faith. Um, okay. Mm hmm Yeah. Um, what am I getting here? I heard knocked off. You're getting knocked off the branch. That's what I heard. You're getting knocked off the branch. That was your comfort zone. Look, 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 look. But they're both birds. I mean, technically, yeah, this one's probably not used to flying just yet, but you're being knocked off the branch. There is no branch for you to cling onto anymore. Y you don't have a home anymore, guys. What are you going back to exactly? Look, I read for star seeds. I read for the real ones. I read for the ones that are truly, truly called to a higher path. You guys don't have a home. You've never had a home. You might have lied to yourself about having a home and feeling safe in the area that you were at, but that was still, you basically never had a home, right? It's always been temporary. This is not, this is not your residing place. You're in the world, not of it, right? Just like Jesus said in the Bible, I think, I think he said it. Ten of cups, bitch, the sun. What the hell? Just like Jesus said, speaking of the sun, the son of God, um, I think he said in the Bible, um, I have no place to lay my head. Right, the son of God has no place to lay their head, his head, his or her, when, you know, whatever. The son, wow, ten of cups, guys. What am I getting here though, spirit? Why do we have the ten of cups and the ten emperor? Mm -hmm. Eight of pentacles, father of cups, that's the king of cups. King of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles. You're going from the King of Cups to the King of Pentacles. Six of Wands. I feel like this collective is done over giving. I heard you're done over sharing. You're done. You're done. You're about to make a statement. And the statement you're going to make is when you've fallen off the branch. But it's not like, a, and, and the other message, it was your trust falling into the universe. So you're going to fall. Okay, sorry, sorry, but you know that saying, um, the, bird, the bird doesn't actually worry about the branch breaking because the bird has wings. I feel like your guys' trust in yourself anymore is so heightened. It's more than it's ever been. You've never trusted yourself like this. You, and I, one thing I was getting today when I was getting around, I was hearing... And I thought it was just me, but it's the collective. It's that the collective has never trusted themselves this much. That if someone were to come back from the past, and I'm hearing blast from the past, you would be able to trust your intuition and know if it were a yes or a no, right? It's not Mercury retrograde yet, but I was getting that kind of vibe. Like a lot of you might be getting people from the past reapproaching you, and you'll know. You'll know if it's a yay or a nay. Should you work with them or should you say bye? You're going to know. It's wow, Ace of Cups, Queen of Swords. You have so much discernment now about who you are and what you're worth and, and like what you really offer. Girl, Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of fucking Cups with the Sun and the Emperor? Are you kidding me? What do you offer? Everything. So people have to really step it up. 44, 444 four, four on the clock. You guys could be seeing 444 a lot. I'm seeing that a lot right now. Um, let's then. I am getting something about the owl, how the, the owl has fallen off the, the branch, right? 
but there's something about a bigger owl that's watching it. Like they're still trying to cling on for dear life to their comfort zone, but you're not. You're about to you're about to lead. You're about to lead as the emperor and the king of pentacles. You're about to lead people. Lead. L E A D. Lead. True leader. True leadership here. You're about to show people how it's done, honey. How you get off that branch and make it your bitch. Ooh! I, I need to really like tune it down a little bit on the on the caffeine, because I think it's too much. I think it's a little bit too much. Um, but I am hearing the matrix is now your bitch. So make it your bitch. Okay. Give me more on the five of pence because it's right under the 10 of cups. I feel like the people that you're inspiring right now, collective, these are people who are tired of being in the five of pence. They are tired of this lack mentality. Like, hello, there's happiness, the fool and the sun. There's this available because collective, you're in it. You're fucking proving it. You're here, right? Great. Then explain why. Explain to me why these people are still in the Five of Pentacles. Lack, hardship, pain, suffering. And I feel like what's the difference here is that you are grateful, collective. You are grateful. I just thanked God for all the things in my... Well, not all the things. It took 10 seconds. Mm hmm mm hmm 10 seconds for me to thank God for some things in my life. And, and the Ten of Pentacles came out as I was channeling that. Like, wow... You make it fun. You're making it enjoyable for people to tune in and watch. So a lot of you might even be content creators for real because, you know, I'm not the only one out there that does this shit. So you guys are really about to be known having gone from the King of Cups to the King of Pentacles. Like you don't need to overgive, overextend yourself, share your secrets, tell too much. You don't need to do that. Mom's the word. Keep it quiet. You don't need to do shit. You don't need to do that shit to get to get something. You don't have to give something. That's not how it works. Plus, technically, the people I read for, you've already given for 30, 40, 50, 60 years of your life. All you did was give. So technically speaking, you've already given. Technically speaking, you've already paid off karmic debt and now you have good karma stored up. So if you were to sit on your rump every minute of every day, 24 seven for the next 70,000 million lifetimes, your ass would still not have to work. And you would have the universe just putting it right there, putting it right there, putting it right there if you want it. But you guys have been around a lot of people who didn't want it. Or so you thought. They just didn't know what they wanted until they saw it in you. Suddenly, suddenly, it's like, okay, so that's what happiness looks like. Let's try it. Let's see. The fool in the sun? Right back to back with the ten of pentacles in the Let's try it. Let's just see. So, looks like your leadership right now, collective, is it's something fierce. Everybody wants it. Everybody wants whatever you're selling, okay? What are you selling? What's this? What's this, spirit? Faith. Girl! This magical moment. You're selling your faith. I mean, that sounds bad. You know what I mean. The faith that you have in the universe, in the divine. You are no joke. You are no joke getting the fuck off the branch. Like this is no joke and people are seeing it. It's no joke. It's no joke. Proof is in the pudding. I heard you're a wise man or woman of faith. People are noticing it. Faith in yourself. Not faith in some external 3D thing, right? That's bullshit. It's you, you are God, right? But see, you're putting your money where your mouth is now. It's like if a lot of you were talking about this but you weren't really living it, Hmm? You weren't living it yet. You were speaking it. You weren't living it. It's totally going to change. I heard the word white, W-H-I-T-E. Your last name could be white or something. Um, yeah, it's totally going to change and people are going to really look at you a lot differently. So I feel like your faith in the universe, your faith in the fact that you can fly. Why be scared of a branch breaking when you have wings? Make that make sense. You know you have wings, so why the fuck would you be scared? Why are you scared? You're not scared. That's exactly why you're a leader. Ooh. Heard moving on up. Moving on up. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Like, you're moving on up to something. Oh, Emperor, bitch. <laughs> nah. <laughs> that 
that's that's what you're moving on up to. Emperor status. Okay. Okay. That is the fucking leader. I'm telling you. You're moving on up. And people are like, oh, I heard you're moving on up. And people know that you don't give a fuck. Very nice. This is fun. This is fun. You're a fun emperor. You're a fun leader. Like this is, I got this message on Patreon yesterday. If you guys want to check it out and support your girl for the price of a latte, you could help a light worker in need. Thank you. Look at this though. This is people like really liking that you don't give a fuck. It's fun. I don't know what you're saying or doing, but it's like, you just don't give a shit. It's working for you. Give me more on the emperor here, please, spirit. You got Page of Swords. Look at these people spying on you, watching you. Like, you guys have a... You are about to have a pull. You're about to have, like, a following. <sighs> I, so you might be nervous, because I might... Oh, God. Hierophant. You are such a leader, though. You're such a hierophant. That's a girl. I'm so sweaty. Like, my pit just got super sweaty over here. <laughs> I feel like some of you are like, um, maybe it's not time, Jenna. No, no, no. I don't think it's time yet. Well, you better change your fucking attitude. You better know that it's time because that branch is breaking. So it's like, I mean, you figure it out. You'll figure it out. You'll figure it out. People really look up to you. Seven of Pentacles, this for me in reverse is about lack mentality. Get out of that. Get out of that, guys. You're so ready. <laughs> I remember one of the biggest things that I feared for the longest time was like being deemed a cult leader. Like <laughs> me sitting here being like, but you're God though. You're Jesus. Get it? <laughs> like, for the longest time, I, I was like afraid that my faith was a little bit too much. Mm-hmm. I'm a little bit too invested in Jesus. You know what I'm saying? But thank God Jesus is invested in me. See, that's the real kicker. I might be invested in Jesus, but Jesus is invested in me. And that's the truth. That's me preaching the gospel. I was really afraid for the longest time to do that, to be known for doing this. And um, the higher font here is you guys, I think a little bit worried that people aren't ready, but I don't think you realize how many people are ready. Like the five of you know how many people are fucking pissed at the I mean look look at this the sun do you know how many people are angry that their their problems can be solved with illumination of, of the mind I remember when somebody was like when when the whole egg prices thing everybody was like oh I can't even afford eggs and and I I mentioned to a group of um there was like twenty or twenty five people in this group and I was like yeah I'm in, I'm making eggs right now and they're like what they're like it's the price of gold. Why would you eat eggs? I was like, well, first of all, that's all I have left in my fridge. Second of all, that's not my reality. That's your reality. Eggs are not expensive where I'm from. Eggs are cheap as shit. And wouldn't you know, a couple weeks later, the whole egg problem is solved. And now I can go to, a, go to the store and literally I get 50 cent off coupon and it's the cheapest that a dozen eggs have ever been at my store. Why? Because I'm the shit. That's why. Period. That's it. Any questions? <laughs> I, I know that it's all temporary. I, I imagined, so I, I spoke out loud in that group and I said, okay, yeah, all right, so that's your reality, sir. But here's my reality. My reality is every farmer on the planet right now is off breeding their hens like crazy trying to reestablish egg production, right? What do you think's gonna happen when there's a big egg boom and they have too many eggs and not enough people to buy them? Ah, I'll tell you, free eggs, free eggs everywhere. You go to the market and people are just handing out eggs. So I said, let's just wait it out. Give it a couple weeks, it'll be no, no big deal. And it wasn't, it was no big deal. I literally get mailed coupons for eggs now. I mean, really, no, that's what happens in my reality, no joke. Why would I joke about eggs? The chariot, look at this. You guys are moving forward and it's like, you're, you're inspiring people to look towards the future. Do you not think the universe will bless you infinitely for doing that? Being a source of encouragement, 
and these dark dark ass times are you kidding me bitch you are gonna have so many eggs on your counter it's gonna be insane and i kept saying that too i was like actually no um i keep visualizing using my old noggin here i keep seeing stacks of eggs on my counter i was like there's like dozens and does i don't know what you're talking about I just ignored his reality and was like, nah, that's bullshit dough. That's one reality, yeah? But my reality is way better than yours. So you take it and you just shove it right on up there. Anyway, next thing I know, eggs are on sale. And I had stacks of eggs on my counter because I love eggs. It's a great source of protein. Anyway, point is, do you think that the universe is going to sit by and let you not be able to influence as many people as you want to? When you're, you're like this, you're a leader. You are a true leader. You are a true leader of faith. Come on. Your faith is unshakable. If your faith in something as, as <laughs> simple as eggs can be tested, right? And you win. You win because you're just, you're a winner. That's all you do is win. Then why wouldn't you be blessed by a million bajillion angels to get your shit seen, published, known, recognized, uh, bought, sold, whatever? So you want to be book authors? I'm hearing like, why wouldn't we get you mass published? What, wait, make that make sense. You write the book, you have faith that it's the best book that's ever been written ever in the history of mankind, and we will do the rest. It'll be right on up there with the Bible. You're welcome. You don't need to do shit. You just need to have faith that your faith is enough. You need to have faith that when this branch breaks, you're gonna fly. I mean, that's it. That's all you do is fly. You have wings. Owls don't crawl. Owls don't even waddle on their little two cute little creepy ass feet here. They don't do that. They fly. They fucking fly and they own the sky. That's what they do. 1717 on the clock. I'm getting star Aquarius vibes here. You guys could be a star in the making, huh? You're gonna be extremely influential. Why? Because the universe needs your voice to do whatever it is that you're doing. It's empowering, it's uplifting and people want free eggs. People want to have eggs by the dozen, by the trillions, okay? They want eggs in their kitchen by the truckload. And, and if you know how to do it, maybe you should be telling about it. Maybe you should be preaching about it, hmm? Ooh, okay, let's actually get one last card here. What's coming in for this beautiful divine emperor? Okay, this emperor, who are you? Ooh, self-love, yes. Yeah, there it is, discernment, guys, 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 okay. Because you remember how I said that people are coming back from the past. All right, we're going to talk about that for a second. Because they are. They are. They are. Of course they are. Of course they fucking are. You're my viewer. You're a bad bitch. Of course they're coming back. Duh. Everybody eats out of the palm of your hand. Huh? Duh. This self-love is literally what's giving you the, dis the discernment. It's like, if the standard by which you measure your relationships is God, then anyone coming to you would have to have gone through God first. And your discernment is off the chart. It's, it's like, there's no, there's no brain fog. There's nothing, there's nothing but like understanding. Like, oh yeah, you're ready to give up bad things. Oh, you're not. <laughs> oh, you're serious and you're still full of ego. No thanks, you're, you're gonna know so well what to do next with these people coming in. Can I know more? Cause this is, this is it's taken a turn into like love. And somebody commented on a video yesterday. They were like, these relationship readings, some of us are single. And I'm like, girl, I'm fucking single. If I want to read about a relationship, I'm going to fucking read about a relationship. If I want to read about single people, I'm going to read about single people. I'm going to do whatever the hell I want to do. This is my channel, my cards, my voice, my messages. You don't like it? Click off. It's really as easy as that. Look, and I'm getting, this is you. Self-love, like, it is so inspiring, bitch. Muse of inspiration. Hmm? Enough said. I'm gonna say what I wanna say. If you don't like it, uh, put cotton balls in your ears. It's very easy, very easy to do. 
just go la 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 la. Don't listen and don't book a reading with me. It's really, it's not that hard. <laughs> so what's gonna happen here? Nine of inspiration, nine of wands. It's like, if you're this wounded warrior and you've been this strong, this fortified, and you can now inspire people like this, don't you think the universe would fight for you too? I mean, don't you think that warrior spirits just matching your energy is gonna give you more boss energy? Like, come on, guys. You're gonna, it's just gonna be insane, the amount of growth that you have, the amount of pull that you have as an emperor. It's gonna be insane. Ace of Cups. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. That looks like loving. Uh-oh. Use of inspiration. Use of emotion. Uh-oh. I know a lot of you are like, no. No, 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 no. No to love. No to love. <laughs> oh, but love isn't saying no to you. We have the page of cups. Somebody is definitely coming back to apologize soon. Could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I'm getting Aries, Taurus here. Leo and Cancer. If this person comes back, you guys are going to have great discernment because you work with your guides and angels and you'll know. Are they coming back to avoid karma? Are you getting in the way of their karma if they come back? Queen of Cups. I think intuitively you can feel that somebody is really going through it karmically right now. And so if they come back, then... Mm, page of wands they're definitely going to come back they're definitely coming back with a message here i think a lot of you are going to feel like well i don't know half of you will probably be like this person's full of shit and the other half will be like wow thank you for finally getting your karma and acting like a grown adult thank you so much awakening yeah they're getting judgment day honey this is this is karma times a thousand this person is definitely going through it a very rude awakening, a very not good time. And, and so they're coming back to you. Nine of swords. And I think that in the past, you guys would be in your head about it. 22, 22 on the clock. I think you'd used to be in your head, you used to be in your head about it because they were filled with so much ego that if you were to energetically as a psychic tune into that, tune into their energy, you would feel self-conscious, um, weak like timid and shy and uh, obsessive and whatever the ego is whatever the ego makes you think that's what you would tune into but for many of you this person is rejecting their ego mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so what does that mean for you trust fear that means for you you have two choices either you live in fear and you assume that their reality, that they are still stuck in fear, like that egg story I was telling you about, right? Or you say, no, 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 not my reality. You're actually changed. You're actually healed. You're perfect. You're exactly as I wanted you. Thank you so much. Thanks for going through that ego death. Wasn't it fun? Yeah, call me. But you are now trusting your wings, not the branch. Get off the comfort zone. Get out of the comfort zone. It's not, it's not fun there. It's comfortable. I can't even think of another word for it. I mean, yeah, it's comfortable. But me being in hermit mode for the last, you know, forever, that, that was not fun. It was like, eh, comfortable. But you guys are meant to be uncomfortable. You're meant to be comfortable in the uncomfortable. I don't think you realize how good your life is about to be if you just keep leading by faith. Leading by faith, the faith that God gave you to have faith in all of your dreams, all of your desires. I don't think you realize. It's going to be bigger than you can imagine. I'm going to leave it there, guys. I love it so much. If you want a personal reading with me, all the information is down below. I do one-on-one -on -one coaching as well. Zoom calls. Um, go check out Patreon as well. Help your girl out over there trying to build a community over there on Patreon. So if that's something you're interested in, check that out as well. I love you guys. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of all of us. I mean, we made it. We made it. Just keep believing that your reality is different than others. People will come to you and they'll be like, yeah, we'll see this happened and that happened and that happened. Okay. That's your reality. That's not mine. Right? 
you need to be that person that's a little bit crazy to believe in a different reality before others do as the Hierophant, okay? And I'm telling you, there is a new start in love because of it. And if this person wants to come back and say something like, I'm gonna heal, I'm gonna take care of that, I'm, I want to work with you, I wanna go to counseling, I wanna go to therapy, it's up to you. Is that reality, what they're saying, and them wanting to heal and, and, and transform, is that real? Or is the whole like, oh, they're just gonna cheat on me and they're just gonna like, they're just gonna be so stupid and they're just an asshole, is that real? Because justice, look, either way, they are going through karma. It's up to you. What do you think? Which reality do you want to exist in, right? And very soon, you're going to have that opportunity to see. Because they're coming in to communicate. Okay, Libra energy here, any water sign. Yeah, they're going to come in and communicate and be like, all right, well, look, I got my ass handed to me. I want to change. It's up to you. Do you think that they're legit going to change? You're the creator of your own reality. You figure it out. You tell me. All right, I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.